All right, we just covered playing over a, a two chord song, and um, I think it'd be fun to push it a little um, further. And uh, we're gonna play over a, this sort of would be like kind of an older country song. And um, instead of working on a blues again, uh, I thought I thought it'd be interesting to sort of have an AABA song. So and it, the A's are all similar. The bridge is a completely different um, section, and then it goes back to the to A. Uh, the, 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 that's the song form. And so we're in the key of C, and again, um, kind of on the one chord. Play whatever you'd like to play. Again, this is something where you could totally just play stock blues licks. But um, when we go to the four chord, there's the five chord, and there's also the the two chord. Um, I'd I'd like to I'd like you to try, and and again use our concept of the third, the fifth, the flatted seventh, and the nine, sort of on all the chords that are not the one chord. And I have a, a background track uh, that's queued up. It's in C. So I, how about this? I'll just first time playing through the chords. I'm going to um, make it a little more obvious the second time through the track, or. I should say the cycle of the chords. Second time through, I'll kind of embellish it a little bit more. But but before we start that, let's just again just go over the chords that we're dealing with. So, you know, C. Again, your blues your blues licks. And then we go to the four chord. Back to your C. The two chord, which is D. Then your five. And I think um, that's why I like these groupings of four notes, because like what happens between the two chord and the five chord, it's just really interesting how, how those two things can fit together. Again, this is the two chord D. I don't know why that sounds so sweet to my ears, but I just like it. And um, and and those those are again the four chords that are part of this tune. So here's the background track, and again I'm gonna play through it the first time through the first time through the chords a little bit more obvious as um, you know using those four notes, and uh, and then the second time through the cycle, I'll I'll, uh, I'll embellish it a little bit more. So go ahead, play the track.
Okay, now that we uh, covered those country chords, I think it'd be a good idea. We'll, we'll go back to the blues, and um, this is slower in tempo. There's not as many chords. There's no real passing chords. It's just your straight three, three uh, chord blues and B flat. And um, I'll, I'll just try and you know make it clear and demonstrate that concept a little bit more. And again, this is just when the chords are changing, I'm changing with the chords. So um, that's sort of the point of this whole thing where uh, it's, it just sort of gets away from playing blues licks over the over the three chords and, and kind of gets you into kind of shaping, shaping the song in a way where, and, and in some ways the, the real ideal is like, even if you took away the background track, you could still hear that I'm playing a blues and you could still hear the chords. So that's kind of the point of, of this kind of exercise. So please uh, go ahead and roll that, roll that track. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed that, that section of the video. Again, this is just sort of way, a, a simple way where um, playing over changes can be a little bit daunting at first, especially if you're used to just sort of, you know, sort of playing blues licks over, over all three chords. And um, I, don't, I don't think you have to rush yourself in this. You know, that background track that comes with comes with the video, you could just leave that up and play along with it as much as you'd like. And again, on the one chord, you know, you're just playing blues licks. And even if just when you go to the four chord, you're just hitting, you know. Then you can go back to, you know, playing the licks that you know. It, it's just about kind of getting your mind to transition from the one chord to the four chord to the five chord. and. Um, and, and that's it, so um, please have fun with that track. <laughs> 